Hello class, today we will be doing terminating and repeating decimal word problems. We will try some together and then you will try some on your own. Let's start with this first one. Addison cut a pizza into 10 slices. If she eats three slices, what decimal represents the portion of the pizza that she ate? Well, let's think of this as um, a fraction. So our pizza is divided into how many pieces? Yes, 10 pieces. And she eats three of those slices. Let's think about what a model of this might look like. Okay, for right now, I want you to ignore the decimals that are on that um, circle. And let's just um, highlight three of the slices that she ate. One, two, three. So if she eats three tenths of the pizza, what decimal represents the portion of the pizza that she ate? We could add one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth equals three tenths. We could write it as 0 0.3 or 0 0.30. Both of those are correct. So let's make sure we answered the question. What decimal represents the portion of pizza that she ate? 0 0.3 or three tenths, because there is a three in the tenths spot. Let's try the next question. If Addison ate five slices of pizza out of ten, what would the percentage be? So how many pieces would that pizza be broken into? Yes, it would be broken into ten pieces. And if we're talking about percent, remember percent means out of 100. So each of those represents a percent, and if I have 10 parts out of 100, 100 divided by 10 is 10. So each of those are worth 10%. So if she ate five slices of pizza, two, three, four, five, what percent of the pizza did she eat? 50%. Let's try the next one. Trevor needs one third a cup of milk to make pancakes. He has three tenths or 0 0.3 cups of milk. Does he have enough to make pancakes? Let's try and visualize this. Well, Trevor has one third of a cup of milk. He needs three tenths. So one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. It's sort of hard to tell based on this model. It looks like he might not quite have enough, but let's see if we can compare this fraction of one third to 0 0.3. If we convert one third into a decimal, then we can compare the two decimals. One third is what decimal? If you're not sure, Let's try typing in the calculator. When we want to find what a decimal is from a fraction, how would I type my fraction into the calculator? We want to divide the top number divided by the bottom number. So one divided by three. What do you notice about this decimal? What type of decimal is it? It's a repeating decimal. So we'll put that bar above it to show that it repeats. Now let's compare these two decimals. When we're comparing decimals, it's helpful to line up the decimal points to compare each place value. So we have 0 0.3 repeating, which is how much he needs, and 0 0.3, which is how much he has. What type of decimal is 0 0.3? Let's compare these two now. 
When we're comparing decimals, let's line up the decimal points and then we'll compare each place value. So if I first start by looking at um, this first place value here, this is the one spot. They're both the same digit, so I can't really compare them. The next spot, which is the tenth spot, is also the same digit, so I can't really compare them. But what would be in the next spot? What number would go next here? And what number would go next here? So that 0 0.3 repeating tells me what is the next number. The next number would be a 3 because it keeps repeating. On 0 0.3 or 3 tenths, we have no other number, so we would put a 0 to hold that place value. Now I can compare these two place values. 3 and 0. So Trevor needs this amount, but he only has this amount. Does he have enough? No, this number is bigger than this number, so no, he does not have enough. 0 0.3 is 0 0.3 repeating is greater than 0 0.3. So does Trevor have enough milk to make pancakes? No, he doesn't. Let's try this last one together. Tyler kicked the soccer ball at the goal five times during soccer practice. He made four out of five shots. What decimal represents four out of five? Let's try using this model to help us. So Tyler kicked the soccer ball at the goal five times. So I have five parts on that bar. What decimal represents the four out of five shots that he made? Well, let's figure out how much each of those bars would be worth. Let's think of it as a percent. So 100% of that bar is represented by the whole thing. But if I divide it into five spots, I'm going to take 100, since percent means out of 100, 100 divided by five parts equals 20. So each part represents 20%. He made four out of the five shots, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we know that he made 80% of the shots. What decimal represents four out of five? So we know that four fifths is the same as 80%. So how would we change 80% to a decimal? There's two ways we could do that. We could start by just moving the decimal point over and we'd be at 0 0.8 or 0 0.80. Another way we could think about it would be 80 out of 100. And 80 out of 100 is the same as 8 tenths. And the way we write 8 tenths as a decimal would be we have 0 in the 1 spot and an 8 in the tenths spot. So what decimal represents 4 out of 5? 0 0.8. A quicker way we could have done that, we could have grabbed the calculator or we could have set up a division problem and we could have taken 4 out of 5, so 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.8. Now that we've practiced some of these, you need to try the other page on your own. Please send your teacher a message if you need help. Have a great day!